Hello everyone, Ozzy here. First, I wanted to thank everyone who is subscribing and posting kind words to my to my videos. It is extremely nice of you. If I haven't said thank you, it's because I feel guilty for saying thank you to every one of them. I'm just end up spamming myself. A friend of mine who subscribed to my channel asked some questions about the selection tool that I use and gave me a tip that I wanted to pass on to everyone else. So this video is going to be about a bit more about the selection tool. Selection tool, which I have on my bar down here is eight, is what allows you to select an area of terrain or materials that you can then perform actions on. You stretch it by grabbing a side, you move it by grabbing an arrow. This is all click and grab. What my friend pointed out that I was not aware of is the fact that, I don't know if you've watched my videos, when I'm stretching these things out, you'll see me swing around to the other side, grab a wall, grab a wall, and if I want to grab the bottom one, I'm going to lean way down here and grab the bottom one. My friend pointed out that the shift key goes through the, the front wall to the back wall. So I can actually stretch for every dimension from standing in a single spot. And I thought that was extremely cool. It uh, significantly helps me with, with uh, grabbing selections without having to worry too many. I can drag this all the way to the, button, to the ground, which is problematic if you're trying to build something underneath you and you can't get underneath it. So I thought that was an excellent tip. The other one is these corners. Now, one of the primary advantages of the corners is the fact that it helps you when your selection size is extremely small because the selection, the corner allows you to control on every axis. So you grab and you can shrink it all the way down to one square and the problem you get when you get it down to one square, or no squares in this case, is the fact that it is extremely difficult to grab a side because the arrows are gigantic. But if you can grab a corner, sometimes you can't even do that, but if you can grab a corner, you can stretch and move. The corners allow you to, do, to move the selection around on that plane. So if I grab this one, it allows me to move up and down. If I grab the top one, it allows me to move around. And you get the idea. And then, of course, I can grab through to the bottom and, and push it down. Uh, I want to thank my friend Ron for pointing out uh, how to do the shift and push through, this, push through the selection tool. I uh, hope this helps because there, there was a lot of confusion on the selection tool. I really wish these arrows were a lot smaller. Um, it's very, very cumbersome when you get your selections down to a small size to have to deal with the arrows. Hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.